you're the parent of a high school junior, then your child likely took the PSAT this past October. Test day is over. Now what? It's time to start thinking about your child's score report. This presentation is designed to teach you everything you need to know about the PSAT score report so that you'll know exactly how to read and interpret your child's results when you receive them. Let's get started. PSAT score reports will be available approximately six weeks after your child takes the test, usually around the end of November or beginning of December. The score reports will be delivered to your child's high school, and then the high school will distribute them individually to students, typically by mailing them home. Once your child has received his or her paper-based score report, he will then be able to access his scores online via My College Quick Start. To get there, visit quickstart.collegeboard.org and then sign in using your College Board account and the online access code printed on your child's score report. This document is a sample PSAT score report, which looks like what your child will receive from his high school. We're going to walk you through the different parts of the score report, beginning with the Your Scores section. Under the Your Scores section, your child's scaled section scores for critical reading, mathematics, and writing skills are displayed. Scaled section scores range between 20 and 80, with 80 being the highest possible score. This sample student scored a 50 in critical reading, 52 in mathematics, and 44 in writing. According to the College Board website, the average PSAT scores for 11th graders in 2013 were 49 in math, 47 in critical reading, and 46 in writing. Under each section scaled score, your child's score range will be displayed, which shows the range in which your child is likely to score if he takes the PSAT again. You may be wondering how your child's PSAT scores compare to SAT scores. Converting your child's PSAT scores to estimated SAT scores is actually quite easy. All you need to do is to add a zero to each section scaled score and then sum them to get your child's total estimated SAT score. Under the score range, your child's percentile will also be displayed. In the critical reading section, this student scored in the 55th percentile. Percentiles show how your child performed as compared with the other students in his grade who took the PSAT. In this case, the student scored in the 55th percentile in critical reading, which means he scored higher than 55% of the juniors who took that PSAT. The final section under your scores provides details about the National Merit Scholarship Corporation. In addition to being practiced for the SAT, the PSAT is also the National Merit Scholarship Qualifying Test. The Selection Index, or Total PSAT Score, is one of the criteria that NMSC uses to determine whether a student qualifies for a National Merit Scholarship. A student's Selection Index is the sum of his critical reading, mathematics, and writing skills scaled scores. A student's Selection Index can range between a 60 and a 240, with 240 being the highest possible score. In this case, the student selection index is 50 plus 52 plus 44, which equals 146. That selection index places the student in the 47th percentile of juniors who took that PSAT. If your child meets the NMS entry requirements, and your child's selection index qualifies him for program recognition, your child will be notified in September of his senior year. To learn more about the National Merit Scholarship, go to www.studypoint.com backslash ed backslash national dash merit dash scholarship dash qualification. The middle portion of the score report, the Your Skills section, provides detailed information about how your child performed on the various critical reading, math, and writing question types. Specifically, it shows how many questions your child answered correctly and how many he omitted. This information will be very helpful to your child 
as he begins to prepare for the SAT because this data will help him to pinpoint those areas and question types where he should focus his study efforts. This section also provides your child's online access code, which your child will need in order to access his PSCT results online via My College Quick Start, which we mentioned earlier in this presentation. The third and final portion of the score report is the Your Answers section. It provides details about how PSAT scoring works and a breakdown of question numbers, correct answers, your child's answers, and the difficulty level of the problem. Under your answer, a check mark shows that your child answered the question correctly. A letter shows the incorrect answer choice that your child selected. And a zero shows that your child omitted the question. Under difficulty, an E represents an easy question, an M represents a medium level question, and an H represents a hard question. Your child should request a copy of his PSAT test booklet from his college counselor so that he can review those questions that he answered incorrectly or omitted. Your child can also access the PSAT test questions and answer explanations through My College Quick Start, which should be the next step he takes after reviewing his paper score report. My College Quick Start also provides a personality test, information about college majors and careers, and a list of possible college matches based on your child's location and intended major. Remember that your child will need a College Board online account and the access code printed on his paper PSAT score report in order to access his My College Quick Start information. If you have questions about the PSAT or your child's upcoming SAT, please visit our website at www.studypoint.com and go to our PSAT and SAT information centers. You can access the information centers by clicking on Tutoring Resources on the Study Point homepage. And then click on either the PSAT Test Info or SAT Test Info link on the left sidebar. The information centers provide details about test dates, test sections and question types, test registration, scoring, and more. If you'd like to access the info centers directly, you can do so by going to www.studypoint.com backslash psat-test.php. You can also speak to one of our program managers by calling 1-87-STUDY-POINT. That's 1-877-883-9700. We'd be happy to answer any questions you have.